Welcome to another science short from the South Florida Science Center. My name is Bunsen Bernie. And I'm Hydrogen Harry. And together we, we are the Nitromaniacs. We're here to make some liquid nitrogen ice cream with you today. And then we're even going to have a special version that you can do at home. All right, so for our ingredients, we've got half and half. We've got heavy cream, chocolate syrup, and for a little bit of goodness, we're gonna add some vanilla flavoring. Now what makes this different from most other ice creams is we're gonna be using a very special ingredient. That of course is our liquid nitrogen. All right, so this liquid nitrogen is extremely cold, about negative 321 degrees Fahrenheit, or 321 degrees below zero. All right, so the very, very cold stuff. It's gonna help us freeze our ice cream nice and quick. All right, so Bunsen Bernie's gonna drop in some of our ingredients. Now, don't worry, I know you guys are probably wondering why well, I can't get liquid nitrogen at home. A little bit later on, make sure you stay tuned. We'll show you an at-home version you guys can make yourselves. So what we're adding is one full quart of the half and half. And then we're adding about half a quart or what would be one pint of our heavy cream. We're gonna add enough chocolate syrup to our liking. We like chocolate. So I'm gonna add about that much. All right, now no ice cream's complete without a little bit of sugar. Gotta sweeten it up a little. Excellent. And we'll use about a quarter cup of sugar. We're gonna add just a splash of our vanilla flavoring. And then we're gonna stir it up really, really well. So as you can see, I've got these really cool blue gloves on. These are to protect me, not from the dairy ingredients. Don't have any dairy allergies, but it's to protect us from the liquid nitrogen. Now for the part you've been waiting for, the addition of our liquid nitrogen. Now again, since this stuff is so cold, it should help to freeze our ice cream very, very quickly. And what that does, it gives us a really nice texture, makes it a very smooth and creamy ice cream versus something that you would get at the store, which has a little bit of a larger ice crystals that gives it sort of a crunchy texture if you've ever tasted that before. I'm sure you guys can't really see what's going on from home, so. Why don't you come on a little bit closer? Yes. All right, get a load of this. All right, thanks to some movie magic and the liquid nitrogen, we have ice cream just that fast. For you, Bernie, adults. Oh, yes. A little bit of chocolate on there. Just like that, we've got our ice cream. So we showed you how we make ice cream here at the Science Center, but you probably wanna make some ice cream at home. So we're gonna do exactly that. We're gonna show you how we can make ice cream in our home. So we're gonna make what is known as rock salt ice cream. So for this, you just need some ice. Same ingredients that we use for our ice cream, you can use at home too. One special ingredient that we're gonna need is the rock salt. So the rock salt is gonna help get the ice cream down to that proper temperature that you need to make it into actual ice cream. So we're gonna put our ingredients in a small sandwich bag here. So the first thing we're gonna add, we're gonna add our half and half. We're gonna add about a cup of this. Then to thicken it up and give it a little bit of a smoother texture, we're gonna add that heavy cream in there. Thank you. And we're adding one quarter cup of the heavy cream. And then inside of our bag, we're gonna add the sugar. So we're adding two tablespoons of sugar here. And this is a half tablespoon, so we're adding four scoops. And then just about a half tablespoon of vanilla. Awesome. All right, so we're gonna make sure we seal this up nice and tight because we don't want it splashing into our ice and into our rock salt. So give it a little test, make sure that it's not leaking. Now what's important though, is we're going to add some ice into a much bigger bag, right? We want the ice to be able to go around all of your ingredients. Uh, so we've got our ice here. We're gonna go ahead and transfer this into a bigger bag. Put it in there. As I start to do this, you can see Bernie over here will be double bagging our ice cream. Again, just to make sure we don't lose any of that delicious ice cream goodness. 
I did notice a small leak, but it's good that we notice it beforehand before we start shaking this thing and we lose our ice cream ingredients. So we're gonna add about three cups of ice into the bag. And then we're gonna add one third cup of the rock salt. Now these ingredients, remember, go into our larger bag here. And that looks good about there. And the bigger the bag you have, the better. So we're gonna drop our smaller bag in there. And since we do have a lot of space in there, we're gonna get rid of some of the air. And then comes the fun part. We're gonna start shaking. So this is going to be a family affair because it does get pretty cold. It's all shake. for anywhere between three to five minutes. If you think you need a little bit longer, just keep on shaking. Make sure that ice cream is soft, but not too soft, not liquidy, uh, but also not too firm. Okay, this is cool. It's like soft serve ice cream right now. Take it out of my double bag here. Actually, didn't leak too much, thankfully. And right out of here, you can see, we can just scoop it right out. Wow, that mm. looks so good. Beautiful soft serve ice cream. And one for you. Thank you, Bernie. Absolutely. Uh, and you like some toppings? Chocolate syrup, of course. All right, cheers. cheers. Joining us today, we hope you enjoyed our virtual science short, making some ice cream. If you want the recipe, make sure you check out the links down below and also make sure you stay tuned to all of our social media channels for our next virtual science short. Until then, cheers. Cheers.